Alright, what up guys? Uh, I'm just here at Pearson Clear Customs, so I'm just chilling here until my uh, my flight comes. Just wanted to check in with the first vlog and uh, I think everyone thinks I'm crazy because I'm just talking to myself with a camera in my face right now. Um, just want to say I'm real excited for my trip. First stop is Shanghai, my hometown. First time traveling alone. I'm nervous, but I'm sure it'll be a great time and I can't wait to land in Shanghai. Just came off this 14 hour flight, uh, didn't sleep a wink and uh, I'm actually exhausted to be honest with you man. They should make a rule not to let babies or young kids on the plane, as mean as that sounds, but they honestly ruined, ruined the whole flight. I'm so exhausted, look at my eyes, I think they're bloodshot. Anyways, a couple of thoughts off the top of my head. Uh, oh, there's some arguing. I just landed and there's some arguments. I'm a big fan of airplane food. I don't know what the complaint is. Had some good chicken, hot breakfast, cup noodles, stuff I like. No complaints. Anyways, can't wait to, to get out of here and uh, see my hometown. I, I call it my hometown, but every time I come back, I feel like such a foreigner. About to get some shopping in, crossing the road. Big up to my aunt for letting uh, me stay at her place. There she is. Actually, I feel kind of weird just walking through the street and speak English. I have to say, the bus drivers in Shanghai are crazy. Not only is it packed to the brim, they, the handles are, are movable like this, so I felt like my rotator cuff was going to tear off by the way that he was just smashing on the brakes and honking like crazy. Check this out, downtown Shanghai. Check out that tower. That's nice. That's beautiful, eh? Yeah, and this is my jam. Shanghai Time Team song. This one's probably for my dad. Oh my god, guys. My worst fear almost realized. We went to the wrong terminal. And so I got to the terminal late, and then he said they were closing the gate. Almost late for my Hong Kong flight. I ran through customs, sprinted through this whole freaking airport, ran all the way here. The plane is for cleaning. So I'm trying to eat a cucumber to calm down. Oh man, I'm sweating all over. Oh my god, that was almost my worst fear. My biggest nightmare, missing a plane. So flustered right now. So I arrived in Hong Kong and I got picked up by Isaac's parents and then I met up with Clem who appears on my vlog. I was going to vlog the tearful reunion but there was way too many people in the MTR so I didn't do anything. Speaking of which, guess who I am in Hong Kong. <laughs> Bam! Damn, the focus isn't working. Anyways, that's a young Isaac. I have his octopus card from his parents. And I get to enter in this building this way. Isaac's parents, by the way, are, uh, are, were nice enough to, to allow me to stay over at his place while they visit Isaac in, in Canada. So I'm really appreciative of that. Me and Clem are in a mall in Mong Kok, going to buy stuff. Soon we'll meet up with Danny, who apparently has a mysterious injury that he can't disclose and he can't play ball because of it. Clem is also slightly more floppy. Look at his hair. 
Just leaving Clemens' place this morning. Him and his girlfriend was nice enough to put me up for a few nights before I went to Japan. And now, I'm on my way to explore the city of Hong Kong. Check out this sick jersey I'm wearing though. Because it's so freaking out here. One question is, how do you stop sweating in Hong Kong? I made it by myself to the World Trade Center, which is kind of ominous. I'm really confused as to how to get around here and I just want to eat. I'm so freaking hungry, hot as hell, and I just want to eat, but where are all the restaurants that we saw, or that I saw at, at the front sign? I have absolutely no idea. Gosh, I am lost. I found this little uh, cafe in the World Trade Center called Hainan Xiaoye. I picked it because I went to Hainan two years ago with my family. It felt like having some good food even though it's hella expensive in comparison to what Clem told me. Anyways, I, I wonder if I'm supposed to tip these guys. Service is good. Guys, how cool is this? It's a virtual Gundam game where you go into one of those machines and you're piloting a Gundam. So it's called uh, something something real Gundam but still under construction. So that's sick, you get to play like this, but you're inside the cockpit instead. That's amazing, I had to vlog that. Here we are after a long day. I finally found you. Actually, uh, I just wanted Wi-Fi. Yeah, yeah. So I'm here with Danny, eating pizza, and I just have to vlog about the story so that in the future when I look back, I will remember this moment. See that umbrella? Bought that at 7-Eleven. Because when I was at the library today, Danny called me and said, yo, I'm at the lobby. So I said, all right, let me come down and, and I'll meet you. I went to the What do you want to do the library? That's yeah. a fun time. You put it in the library now. No, that's not a fun time. <laughs> that's, that's not a fun time. I went to, to the shelf, three shelves over, and I put the book back. When I came back, my bag was still here. Uh, my my Uniqlo stuff was still here. But someone stole my umbrella. Worst part about it is, it's Clem's umbrella. So and it's pouring out. What kind of guy would steal like a maroon regular umbrella? What a piss off. What a jerk. What a jerk. If I find you, it's going down. <laughs> okay. You can yourself. So right now, we're on the ferry, the TSC, but it's thunderstorming and there's lightning. That's what it looks outside. Still pretty nice skyline. But I'm not sure if you guys can see the rain. Actually, I'm just waiting for the thunder and lightning to come down once again. Oh, my fan. <laughs> Beautiful day today in Hong Kong. Um, Simon told me to bring an umbrella. So what it sounds, right? I'm here at the, uh, the Avenue of Stars, Star Avenue. I didn't know it was gonna look so nice. Beautiful. I would have loved to come here at night. The bay would have been really nice. The only downside to this is it's hot as hell. Sometimes I just think we're so focused on, on work and other parts of our daily lives that we lose focus on what's beautiful. I mean, just take some time off. Sit down and enjoy what the Creator has made in this world because this is beautiful. Alright guys, just bought a ticket into the Hong Kong Art Museum. Actually, for those who know me, I, uh, I've never been too good with this whole art stuff, but I can't wait to, to see what's inside. I've, I think I've only been to the Ontario Art Gallery maybe once when I was really, really young, but this is kind of cool. I mean, just the entrance itself is very historic. So let's go in and see what this is all about. This one's a really cool piece. It's a pottery watchtower. Uh, it's a big piece. It's about as big as I am and it's 
very intricately designed. You can see their little figurines popping out of the watch tower windows. And uh, not sure what the practical use of this would be, but it's still very cool. It's the uh, robe of a 12th century emperor. And you can tell that he's distinguished because he has a dragon uh, in the center of his robe. Let's uh, come out of the art exhibit on the fourth floor here. And obviously, uh, they didn't allow me to take pictures inside because of the images and the copyrights and things like that. But they did give me this pamphlet of this artist's name, which is Feng Zi Kai. I'm not sure if I'm saying it right, but he drew a lot of um, portraits, uh, pictures of everyday life, and they're really beautiful. And if I drew something myself and I contributed it, they gave me this sort of like sticker book of his uh, most famous drawings. The art exhibit has been a really cool experience. Well, number one, it was very well air conditioned. I took the bus up to Stanley Plaza, which is all the way up in the mountains. And this place just reminds me of a Hong Kong version of Beverly Hills. I mean, the houses I saw while coming up on the bus were amazing, but it's actually by the bay. A lot of white people here. And definitely uh, less people, less clustered than in Hong Kong. But you go through Repulse Bay to the beach and you get here and it's just a very quaint, more quiet, but obviously more high-end area. Oh, uh, look where I found. I wonder how far I can get out here. See how good my rock climbing skills are with only one hand. Well, actually, one of my hands is holding an umbrella, so well, I want to see if I can get out there. This might be slightly dangerous, and I may end up regretting this. All right. So far, so good. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, hold on. I want to go even further. Oh. Ow, ow, ow. Damn, this just happened. My foot got caught. Woo! Yeah. Call me daddy. Oh. All right, time to go back. I freaking hate mosquitoes.